This could be perfect. All right. Shall we shall we start in a little prayer and then get going? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. If you guys wouldn't mind joining me in the name of the Father, oh. Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of this day. Thank you for the gift of this last month that we've shared together every Thursday, gathering together to read your word and to experience you in our hearts in deeper and new ways. We thank you for all the ways in which you have blessed us and all the ways in which you are calling us to grow stronger in our faith. And we just pray that as we read the gospel and as we share with each other those intentions that we carry in our hearts, that we may remember that you are always with us and that you give us peace and your love. We love you and we pray all of this in your name. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown in the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your, eyes, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, with what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves, and you will have peace with one another. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That is um that is a lot, <laughs> and uh, um yeah today I wanted to talk about one of the sorrowful mysteries specifically Jesus dying on the cross, and um I was in I got to go to the chapel to pray a little bit before this and I was just thinking about um just like the gift of the gift that we have to be able to be in heaven with our Lord because of that sacrifice that he made on the cross um, uh, for us. And, and just like the thought of like, I want to, I want to be in heaven with the Lord. And it's interesting to see just like, not only in my life, but in all of your guys' lives, just what it is that the Lord is asking you of and what, what crosses you guys bear and, um, how sometimes they may feel way heavier than what we can carry and how all of that is so that we could also be in heaven with him. He doesn't give us, I was reading in a book, like he doesn't give us um, sufferings that we cannot bear. Um, and so to think of like, okay, like even when we are in the midst of suffering and everything around us hurts or our bodies hurt or our hearts hurt, uh, how like that is still like like that suffering we know and we can be confident that we can carry it because it was given it was allowed by the Lord to make us stronger so that we could be saints in heaven um, and like that's how we carry our cross with that confidence and specifically my friends were telling me about um, just like theology of the body and Mother Mary being at the foot of the cross and how she is like the perfect model for all of us to like look at and how she like she I don't know if I 
I'm going to say this correctly, how they explained it, but it was so beautiful. And I wanted to share it all with you. Um, and how like, when she was at the foot of the cross, like she, she recognized that like, Jesus, like that sacrifice was so big and so beautiful. And that like, us in our Christian life, like her as a disciple also, um, she needed to like emulate the same thing and like be an example to everyone else of like being capable of making that big of a sacrifice too for the greater uh, kingdom of God. And like Jesus died on the cross so that we would all have an opportunity to be in heaven with our father and Mary, like as when she said yes, like when uh, Jesus was like, woman, behold this, your son and son, behold your mother. Like she was saying yes. And like, she was also saying yes. Like, I know I recognize that you, my son is about to die. And, uh, and all of her yeses were so that like, we could have an example of how to live out our Christian life and how to like say yes in all of the difficult moments and all of the things that like bring a lot of suffering, but also all of the yeses when we are filled with joy. And um, I got to see my one of my best friends and former roommate get married this past weekend. And it was one of the most beautiful weekends ever. And just like them getting to like meet at the front of the altar and just like make the vows to love each other for the rest of their lives was so, so beautiful. And, um, but at the same time, like talking to my mom today on the phone and like hearing from her, like she's really scared for my dad's like results that come in on Tuesday. And just like, she's hoping that they will be good and that um, they won't tell us like, oh, he has cancer or, or that it's like this advanced or whatnot. And just to know like there's like this cross uh, that people that enter into vo the vocation of marriage, like Barbara and Tom, uh, where you like decide to love one another in like difficult times and um, to be there for each other and how we have that same gift from Mother Mary and from Jesus who are like, my, our vocation is to love and to love you guys, like all of us here on earth. And uh, we will always continue to have them and to be able to go to them in prayer. And that's just really beautiful. And I'm really grateful for that. And I wanted to share that with you all um, as a form of hope and to hopefully bring that to your prayer as well. And ask the Lord where he is in where whatever suffering you're carrying in your own hearts. Um, but yeah, any, any prayer intentions and ways that we could be praying for each other here um, for this last little get together until October. But um, of course, like, as I said, like we will continue to pray for you and you guys pray for each other as well and pray for me and my family. Um, but if you would like to unmute yourselves and share. We'd like to ask uh, all of you to pray uh, that our son, Michael, who is in his early forties, returns to the Catholic faith. Yeah, we pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Menchu. Um, this week is uh, a very special week in between the Pentecost and and the Trinity, um, Holy Trinity, and it's as well the Laudato Si week. And tomorrow will be just the ninth anniversary of the encyclical Laudato Si. And so I want to pray for just really all the world to get just uh, raise awareness of the situation that we are really, really in the same boat, everybody. To pray for all those that they are working and they're losing their lives for saving just the earth from all the misuse of creation. For all the creatures, all the species that they are living and they are in threat. For all the problems that is causing just the climate change to a lot of populations in the world and they're just moving, they have to be moving. Some of them, they are with floods, some of them, we are hunger because of droughts. For all of them, uh, it's for what I pray. So Lord, in your mercy, hear me. Pray. Yeah, I'll pray. Jerry and then Mary Grace, Sister Mary Grace. 
Yes, I would like to pray for the world. That's when I was coming here this evening, I said I would want us to, would like us to pray for the world because there's a lot of things happening now and it is only prayer that is the key. So we pray that uh, our world will recognize who is the master and go to him. Just like you said, we have Jesus and Mary there. We have the father in heaven. So if we, the world will recognize where to run to and we'll be safe from this situation. So let us pray for our world and then to our Lord. Thank you. Lord, in your mercy. Thank you, sister. Thank you. A personal prayer request. Um, I have a longtime friend. His name is George, lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And he knew he had... Um, prostate cancer, but he just heard from the doctor that it's uh, spreading. So I would ask your prayer for, for the Lord and his goodness to, to heal him. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Yeah, pray. um, I needed to pay for both my hands. Uh, we found out today and last week that they both had breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to pray for both of them. So I know they're both scared. Um, I also wanted to pray for married couples. Um, and I wanted to offer a prayer of gratitude for this wonderful group and all the chances we've had to meet. Um, God bless you, Father Joe and, and Jocelyn and everyone in the group. Thank you, Angela. Oh, bless you too. Thanks. God bless you. God bless you. I, I would like to pray for my family and extended family for purity of heart and for the grace um, mm -hmm. to have the right values in life and that we really know what is truth and that in all the influences around us in the West and in the world that we focus on God, whichever, because um, my family is a multi-faith family, but mm -hmm. every faith focuses on God, the creator, mm -hmm. and to pray that in that focus, we have purity of mind and heart to love and serve each other in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, prayer. I also want to pray for um one of my aunts. Her name is Rosa, or her name was Rosa. She just passed away this morning. Um, so we just pray for the repulse of her soul and for her two uh like 20-year-old children or boys that um she left behind Lord hear our prayer but hear our prayer amen and to if i could ask for the prayer for all those who are sick would you hear me mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yes a lot of people who are sick and have asked me to pray for them. I've asked us to pray. So we bring those people to the Lord through yeah. this group. Yeah, that the Lord will heal them and give them peace, whatever his will is. Yes. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Grace asks for prayers for the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage and all the pilgrims participating in the Congress. Lord, hear our prayer. Sister Anna, Nobody. were you going to say something? Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, I would like to, to pray for the American Missionary Congress that will be in November in Puerto Rico. Uh, I would like to pray for the intention of the Pope for this month for the formation for all seminarists and consecrated people. And, 
and extend it for occasion for uh, matrimony, uh, uh, husband and wife, uh, how you say, uh, wedding, marriage. no, a marriage, marriage. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, marriage, occasion, um, and how Jocelyn says, I uh, would like to, to ask uh, um, our Lord through the intercession of Mary, that we all, this member of this group would say yes as Mary in moments of difficulty or joy as she, as she did and as she teaches us to, to, to do uh, with the grace of God and for the peace in, in Ukraine and, and Middle East, uh, Asia. And and Af in those places in Africa and everywhere that lives the uh, uh, people poor and suffering, so that we are through the the prayers and offerings through the Sacred Heart of Jesus that we would uh, um, uh, give strength to the missionary people over there and well and all these intentions you said and. So much people uh, uh, in our little communities and for, for all of them too. Thank you. Thank you. We pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Oh, dear prayer. And uh, just to quickly wrap things up, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for being with Father Joe and I here each week. And um, yeah, truly, really, really grateful for all of you. And um, just for the gift that this group has been, I'm sure for all of us here and just to be able to experience the Holy Spirit and the Lord working in all of us and um, for the gift that we have of like being able to pray in community is really big. And I wanted to mention that in June, which is coming up quickly, June 7th, the first Friday of the month is also the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart. Uh, which is really big because it also falls on the first Friday, which is when we celebrate the Sacred Heart. Uh, so don't forget to um, set some time aside that day to go to Mass or go to Adoration or um, yeah, say say a prayer um, to the Sacred Heart and entrust yourselves to Him. And yeah, so moving forward, Hopefully next time that we meet in October, um, I can ask for some volunteers to read the gospel or to share a little reflection or to open up or close in prayer. So I'll work on like um, a sign up sheet or I'll I'll send you guys my email so that you can let me know like oh, I want to volunteer to read or to open in prayer so that I know like who would be open to that and um, go from there. And yeah, so next time October 3rd same zoom code um, for the next Thursdays from the heart and don't forget to invite other people as well if this was fruitful for you uh, it can also be fruitful for someone else and um, part of our our goal as uh, being missionaries and disciples of the Lord is to be able to bring those around us into the community that we have and that we have received so yeah let us close in a Hail Mary, asking for our Blessed Mother for her intercession and her guidance to her Son. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Pray for us. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, Amen. Jocelyn, my gosh, big thanks for sharing your heart with us, leading us in prayer. Uh, we're so honored to have her as one of the leaders of this great prayer network. And uh, mm -hmm. what a beautiful job she did all month. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Very you. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Good to um, meet all of you. See you in, see you in October. <laughs> Yes, Bye. in October. October 3rd. Right. Okay. Okay. See you then. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
<laughs> thank you for that. Bye, thank Agatha. You. Rest, sleep well. Bye, you. Bye, thank you. Bye Joyce. Okay. We don't know how to sign off here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That's Bye. okay. Yeah. We'll, I honestly don't know what we'll turn oh, the switch off on our side. Found it. <laughs> uh, Bye. There we go. All right. Thank yeah, you, Schneid.